This video is to show how easy it is to make a carrier to interference measurement with the Anritsu Fieldmaster Spectrum Analyzer. Carrier to interference is regularly made in the satellite industry where it's important that there's good signal to noise, especially on the downlink. Carrier to interference is defined as the ratio of the power in the wanted signal to the power in any interfering signals or noise. So to make that measurement, I need to go into the measure menu and select carrier to interference. The spectrum here is showing us the simulated satellite downlink. And I need to go into the setup menu and set up the integration bandwidth over which I want to measure the, the power and interference. When measuring interference, very often it's a pulsed or intermittent signal. So it's often a good idea to set a slightly slower sweep time, and that actually could be as long as a minute if you've got interfering signals that are very intermittent to make sure that they're captured in the measurement. So that when I start the measurement, it prompts me to make sure that the transmitter is transmitting, which it is, and I press continue, and then it prompts me to turn off the wanted transmitter, so I'm measuring just the interference and noise. So I've now done that and we measure the interference and noise. So I can press finish and we have three traces on the screen. The green trace is the signal that was measured, the wanted signal that was measured. The yellow trace, which is sitting on top of the blue trace, is the current live trace. The blue trace is the trace that was used for the measurement of interference and noise. And we can see that in this case, the carrier to interference was measured to be a ratio of 63 dBs. The carrier power was about 16 dBs and the interfering power was about minus 46 dBm. And I can set pass fail criteria. It's often interesting to just remove the um, system from the input to the spectrum analyzer, which I'll do now. And if I remove the system from the spectrum analyzer, we can now see the spectrum analyzer noise floor. So it's clear that there was an interfering or noise signal higher than the noise floor of the spectrum analyzer that was uh, limiting our measurement. So I hope you can see how easy it is to measure carrier to interference with the Anritsu Fieldmaster Spectrum Analyzer. Thank you.